So how old were you when Tuka got killed? Like, walk I us was, through that day. I was 16. Walk us through that day that Tuka got killed. Shit, they came to my career early that morning. We come now. We I go to John Hope. Folks go to Wendell Phillips. Him, my little sister, little Jay. It's a couple of them down there. Dusky from Mob, Booger from Mob. Yeah. Now we out now. We that photo coming to my crib. Now Tuka suspended from school. Now it's me, Tuka, my homie Corey Guns on bro from STL, but he but he ain't STL no more. For folks who went to jail and he converted over. He folks he changed his life. He ended up doing a long time. Changed he changed his life, but you know what I'm saying. He he worked. He he, he got some going on right now. I really shouldn't have just brought his name up, but he was with us though. Yeah. He was at my crib with me. So when we all bopped out the crib. OG gave me a dub, gave two a 10. You feel me? That's, that's my OG homegirl son. We all come from the IDB Wells. Me, Tuka, Duck. Then the half of the STL, Gyro, we all, then that all our mamas from the low end, 39th, IDB Wells, Newtown. You see ice cream shop, shit like that. And then all the 40. You feel me? So it's like. We all then that knew each other from the projects or the swimming pool or going up to the center. Yeah. That parks and shit out there. I remember you all type shit. But we all, me, we, we go to the block, get some weed. Now we meet up with Dutchie you know? them. It's me, Tuka, Dutchie, Kyra, Lil George, Lil P, and some little females from Lil Pink. We all inside the trap on the same one. So we on the deuce though. Tuka and Dutchie get into it. To uh, Dutchie, like, oh, you can't hear my, you can't hear my weed. Oh, y'all smoke that Reggie his ass got. Cause Tuka one got the two for the five. You know how that shit go. Dutchie people don't got the got the got the whoop. He know where to go get the real loud at. False grade. Dutchie like, oh, you can't hear my shit. Tuka, but fuck you, fuck your weed, shorty. I don't need to hit your shit. Ooh. Yeah, we just getting high, shit, cool, regular shit. You know, Lil George and Lil P Star wrestling. They and that bitch slam each other on the head. Motherfuckers slam Tuka, took his phone, run out the out the crib. Cause this is a, a trap. The whole building, the spot, and whole building, Bando. Y'all on 63rd though? Nah, we on 62nd. All right. We on the dose. Oh, bro. We in that bitch in the hallways, everything. We in that bitch tweaking just all day. Oh, bro. Nah. Looks up, look down, and they go on. We at BT crib. I'm on house arrest. I'll, bro, I always be on house arrest, gang. Cause I'm always hot as hell. Be hot as hell. I used to be hot as hell. Steam, battery, some pipe case, some. I'm. I got locked up for some. I didn't just yeah. did some. Hot as hell out there. Only nigga in the hood. Big ass lips in the mohawk with a fat ass nose. Easy. He got dimples. That's him. Yeah. Everybody, nobody look like you. Cry him. This a girl. She kind of like him. Then when she got to act like a boy, oh, what? I don't be. But no, though, that day was crazy, though. That day was crazy because I went home. I'm like, man, I had to get on the train and go to the crib on 47. But when I stayed on 47, I'm, I'm hey, gang. One of y'all ride me on the train. Ooh, ooh. Now, we had just caught motherfucking... Row row now from TYB on the train on bro a couple like couple days before this. On fourth grade, beat the fuck out of him. Him and Lorenzo beat the fuck out them on the train. So in my head, I'm here, it's school time. Everybody getting on the train off the train. So I'm, I'm not gonna get whooped going home. I'm boy y'all one of y'all that should go with me. Everybody in the hell no, the block for to be busting, folks. I went home. OG wake me up in the middle of the night like like what happened? What y'all do today? What you and Tuka and them do today? Because my OG, like I just said, I'm hot as hell, man. See, what y'all do today? Uh, we ain't do shit. Ah, uh, man. I'm out there, uh, man. We ain't do shit, OG. She, what y'all do today? Ah, uh, man, we ain't do nothing. She, you and Shandia went to school? Uh, yeah, we went to school. She, I gave y'all I gave y'all a bus ride. Y'all went to school today? Um, yeah. Um, we smoked and went to school. Um, he, I'm, I went one way, he went, he went the other way, like we do every morning, ma. She, all right. I'm all right. Lay down. She come back in there. 
She saw him, what? She. She, they killed Tuga. For his grad. I can't believe that shit, sure. What do you do from there? I was on house arrest. I ain't doing nothing. Mm. So Tuku was just outside on the block and he just got shot? No, there was a lot of them out there, though. Lil Darrell, Tuka, motherfucking R.I.P. Sab. There was a lot of motherfuckers out there. Ronte Buka from 600, Big Brother. There was a lot of motherfuckers out there. Yeah. Like, motherfucker. Um, bro, my homie C Dog. Um, bro, Key Line. I mean, My Line. That C Dog brother. I don't even know why I just said false real name like that, but that's what he called himself. That's goofy shit. But anyway, they was all out there for folks to walk his bitch to the bus stop. That's why I took on the bus stop with them. That's why I took him on the bus stop because uh, Keylon was walking his bitch to the or was it my line walking his bitch to the bus. I don't know. One of them was walking their bitch to the bus, though. Yeah. That's why Tuka was on the bus stop with them. They was waiting on Shorty to get on the bus on bro. What fuck say he do? Walk up, get that. Damn, how long y'all been out here? He, they took get that boy. You know they in war over here, right? You should pull your mask down. Yeah, everybody like they just looking at him. He looked one way, looking another way. Like he got the boom on that bitch. Oh, so that the person who shot Tuga came and said that, and he he told Tuga to pull his mask down. No, nah. they told. Tuga told him that, like, boy, you know they in tour with people around here, right? Because you know Tuga wasn't from the block game. Yeah. You feel me? That's why he's like, man, you know they in tour with people around here. You should pull your mask down. And then he just pulled out? It was cold as hell outside. That's when motherfuckers used to wear the mask with a little point to it like this. Hmm. Y'all remember them little, them little masks? Yeah. Um, bro, that's like Tuga telling us, like, boy, you should pull your mask down. You know they in tour with people over there. He was like, yeah. But how long y'all been out here again? He like, that's when he got to talking to Key Line and, them, and my line, uh, all the phone them and the little bitch that's on the bus stop. But Tuka, like, fuck his dude, though. Tuka, like, hey, like, Tuka looked at his ass, looked at everybody else, and it was like, and as Tuka was walking away to walk off, hey, like, that's when he shot Tuka. And his, cause, you know, Tuka got shot in the back, his ass and his leg, bro, died off a leg shot. You feel me? So they didn't know that was an op? At the bus stop with y'all or with them? Nah. Because the people that I just named, besides Lil Durrell, because Lil Durrell and Sab, they went in the store. Lil Durrell, Sab, and Ronte, Buka, them big brother, they went in the store inside the St. Lawrence store. Yeah. The only motherfucker right there is Tuka, Keyline, Myla, and the little female, and Lil George, G.I. Joe. Um, bro, Kyra, real twin, brother. You know, that's just my little sister, though, you know? Yeah. And, nah. Um, bro, you know, G.I. Joe went to jail that night and didn't get out until 2017. What do you got booked for that night? Bro, we used to just steal the cars, bro. All we used to do is steal cars and then break out the halfway house and shit when they let us, you know, I see you. Get up out of there. Break out that bitch, steal the car from off that block, go home. Like, Let's do it. A, a, a huge percentage of people, when we ask them about, like, the, the war in Chicago and everything, you just comes back to the Tuca situation. Like, what's it like for you to see that be such a pivotal moment in the culture? Shorty wasn't with that, though. So it, it'd be crazy when I do see it, bro. On Tuca shit, like, folks want with that shit. It'd be different. Like, it's, it, it's one thing when you, when a motherfucker spank a motherfucker that's out here spanking people, that's sliding, dropping lows, that's with that shit, right? Tuka was the nigga that he had come on the block. Everybody know, folks. He good over here. Right? Y'all yeah. know the type of people. You probably was one of them niggas growing up. Mm. That Everybody, you cool as hell. You can come through this bitch anytime you want to, Adam. I don't you, know. I was trying to go anywhere. Nobody really saying, cared where you went where I grew up either. <laughs> you could, most places you, you could just you never go. So I was you one of the niggas I was good, but I wasn't on no street shit. I ain't on no street shit, but I know I know if I go over here, I could go over here. I can walk home because, you know, Tuka right. stayed at the end. He stayed at the end of St. Lawrence on, 60, on 64th. Yeah. Feed me on the corner. It was 6347, but then it was a lot. But it's a house that's pushed in the back of that lot. That's Tuka house right there, mm. right, off, right on the alley. You see what I'm saying? So he just like one of them folks. He could come through this bitch. 
He good. He gonna go home. F- folks in the head. He did damn near fall half for the whole block. Folks was known for up and nipes on us. You know what I'm saying? But this been my dog since the Adderby Wells. We come from the projects together. We didn't got jumped on together. We didn't jumped on motherfuckers together. Yeah. You feel me? It's my dog. So was this like a, uh, without saying too much, was this like a retaliation kill? Because a lot of people be saying that the war started off with Billionaire Black and E-Day where they was dissing each other. Man. It, this wasn't because of the diss track. Nah, Some man, other Tuga, shit had that. Tuga died before the diss, gang. Before E-Day track, before any of that shit was even heard of. Tuka had already died. Before E-Day, is you serious? Yeah. Dog? OD was dead before E-Day, is you serious? Yeah. So they started dissing each other they after. They started after Tuka died. No, listen. They really started dissing each other literally after Tuka died because Tuka was the first you see CPS student to die in 2011. Right? Yeah. And that was January. By February, March, April, they was going back and forth on the rapper side now. Duck saying what he's saying. Billy saying what he's saying. Ede saying what he's saying. As Dot saying what he's saying. God damn it. Like, uh... You had goddamn it. It was a couple of them. It was a, they had they had Keith. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Keith was all they inspir all of their inspiration. So from your perspective <laughs> though, because you was around, would you feel like kicked that shit off? Like before the like, rap shit. I, I mean, it was my little cousin party. Cause my little cousin stayed in the old like they don't that, like I you know that was my fave. But they don't really fuck with me like my my auntie don't fuck with me at all. Period. Yeah. Like, her mama don't fuck with me at all. She love me, but she don't fuck with me at all, you know? She been living over there, gang. You know what I'm saying? She hear shit. You know how that shit go, gang. And then she feel like, whatever I'm doing out here, it's like that shit, it, it, it reflects back on her. It brings harm. It brings it bring a motherfucker to harm her. Because that's like, oh, damn, that's his auntie. You know? So party in O'Block kicked all this shit off? Yeah, party in O'Block, going to my auntie house. Who party? It was who my party was cousin it? party. What happened? Somebody got jumped or something? Yeah, they tried to whoop Gucci them. I, that's when I. That's when I. I went on that rap. I whoop T Roy ass, V Roy ass. I whoop Lil John, my dead homie, shorty on my dead brother, nigga. Me and Keto little brother fought one on one first. Fought T Roy after that. I fought motherfucking uh. Man, I was I was just fighting on oh, my homie nigga Jay Hood to tell you about that night. And he'll tell you I didn't lose, need to fight. My homie, I got wild. I asked him, I come right downstairs, standing right on business. I'm so my you brother. fought T Roy that night, and who else? I, and Lil Jarvis. And uh, Keita, and, and, uh, Keita, little brother. Uh, Keita got two little brothers. You got Joey, but then there's another one who's missing the eye. I can't think of his name right now. Not but, too slick. No, nah, no, nah, hell no. Nah. He don't, this, this actually, this Keita from O Block. Like who they be on Keita Gray or the yeah, female? Yeah, I be hearing. Her little brother is one of Joey, but I can't think of the other one name, bro, right now. But that's why I fought not Joey the other uh, with the little one. We got it on. I took a feet. He, he's throwing a bitch though. He ain't sure he ain't no goofy on bro. I, and I ain't never been no lame. I I I, I encourage people to fight. On um, bro, I hype that shit up, bro. On um, folks great, even if my fuck win lose draw, um, bro, we got it on, bro. I ain't happen. So there's one party started this whole everything. Everything just snowballed. Because EBT that. was already on a ass on folks' gray wing and not going we ain't gonna not act like the Elbow Hard Boys wasn't on that on my ground. Damn. That bitch just poked the shit out of my leg. I'll show for the same boy. What the fuck is that? What the This is the motherfucking uh What the fuck Adam, is that? Man? What you want, bro? Y'all got gun hosts and shit in this bitch. This the this where you put the gun, you put the pipe right here. You know what I'm saying? Let let it slide. It looks like the anti shoplifting tag. Yeah, you okay. sure you paid for those jeans? Man, 